Good morning, everyone, and welcome to AST uh, webinar on Fusion 360. Uh, we're just waiting for a few more people to, to join in, and we can get this uh, started in a few more minutes. Thank you. Okay, so I would like to introduce you to uh, Vikis. Uh, Vikis is uh, AST uh, product uh, technical specialist for uh, manufacturing um, for Autodesk software. And with that, I'll, I'll hand it over to, uh, to Vikis. Thank you so much, Tai. So here is a bit of agenda of our today's webinar. So first of all, I will give you some tips about sketches and then tips about solid model. And at the end, we will have question and answer session. So if you have any question, feel free to type it in the chat box or ask me. Now let's get into it. Okay, so we are in a Fusion 360 environment. Now first thing I always do is I save my file before I start sketching. So go to the file and save your project. If you want to turn on auto save, go to the preferences. Under the general tab, click on the automatic version and close. Hit apply and OK. Now Fusion 360 has very cool tool. Just hit S on the keyboard and it will open the search toolbox for you. Now you can write any tool you want. and you can start working on it you can also put your most used commands in the top for the quick access I use pattern circular pattern too many times click on the little right arrow on the tool and it will pop up on the quick access toolbar now when you open search toolbox it will be on the quick access now you can do that and you can start working on it now the next trick is draw your circle as a fully defined sketch so in order to make your sketch fully defined you need to give it a proper dimension or either you can give it a proper constraint so to make my sketch a uh, fully defined I need to enter a proper dimension so hit D on the keyboard for dimension give it a diameter and give it a proper constraint or you can also give it a dimension try to use more constraint instead of dimension I want this center point connected to this my origin so go to the constraint panel click on the coincident and now click the center point and click the origin now here my sketch is fully defined next is do not over constraint your sketch it means like do not over dimension your sketch or don't give them too many constraints I have already given the diameter of circle as a 40 now I want to make this diameter one more diameter here don't do that one it will give you some warning that your sketch is over constraint if you hit ok now you can see the difference between original di original dimension and the over constraint diameter so when you click on the original diameter it will update the second one but when you double click on the over constant dimension it won't happen so delete that one now next trick is to see the possible constraint when you select two entities now select these two entities select one hit control and select another now right click on your mouse it will show you the possible constraints in between those two entities so let's say I want these two line as a perpendicular to each other I can click on that and I want these two as a midpoint right click and make it a midpoint and I want one line as a vertical and one as a horizontal so I'll choose any line and right click on it or either you can choose the line 
and click on horizontal vertical constraint so it will make one line horizontal and one line vertical now i will show you some tips about 3d modeling no okay so if you want to make your part hollow from inside go to the search toolbox you write cell now select your body and enter the thickness enter your solid box is hollow from inside you can't see it from here so to inspect this one go to the tools under the inspect panel click on the section analysis click on any face and then push it back now we can see that this part is hollow okay control set now you can also use another method so first you need to create one sketch and then another sketch with the thickness and then you need to extrude this one 50 or something whatever is that then you also need to sketch one rectangle here from this point to this point and then you also need to extend this one so instead of using multiple rectangulars and extra tool use the cell tool now let's say i want it search cell i want this and this parts hollow and i will i will need five millimeter thickness from all side okay so it has given same thickness to the all sides but now i want this thickness 10 millimeter so hit q on the keyboard or you can go to the search toolbox and write press pull select that and select the face and now extend this one you can see that it's extending whole side so instead of doing that automatic just make a new offset and you can extend as much as you want I want it 5 millimeters more so now it has created 10 millimeter you can clearly see the difference from here to check it click on this one and this face it will show you the 10 millimeter now the next one is pattern tool pattern tool uses to make copies in multiple places so under the create tab there is a pattern tool there are three types of pattern rectangular circular and a pattern on path so when you hover over the tool you can clearly see that from the image the rectangular pattern creates in the square or like horizontal and vertical directions circular patterns creates in a angular direction and the pattern on path creates in a particular path which you draw so uh, i will go to the rectangular pattern first okay, make one sketch here circle this one i'll give it a dimension so i want this circle copy to the this corner and two left corners so go to the create rectangular pattern select the tool and then select the direction this x and y axis now extend this one i only want two copies and two copies here as well you can also enter the dimension between these two circle and everything now it has created four corner circles for me now just extrude this one distance to the object no, i want it through hole
way. It is created full circles. Now the same way you can create your copies in angular direction. Create one sketch, draw another circle or any other thing. Now I want this circle six copied on the top face. So go to the create again or either I can extrude this one first. And now I can copy this one. Go to the create pattern and choose circular pattern. Now it you can choose face, body, features or component. I will choose the feature. This one and select the axis. Now select the center point of the circle. I want six copies. You can also choose the angular spacing if you want particular angle also do that here i will go with the full hit ok how easy is that now the next is pattern on path i have created one body and a path so i want this body copied along this path so again go to the create pattern and choose pattern on path now it will ask you to choose the type choose features click on this one and choose the path this one now you just need to pull this arrow you can choose the quantity 110 quantities along this path either you can also give it spacing between these two distance I want only 140 so from the first so from the first start point from here to here it should be 40 or you can also choose the spacing between them so I want 10 millimeter space in between those circles dedicated 10 millimeter 20 just to make it clear this is how it works now if you know if you have a complex model or assembly then create multiple bodies with your particular name instead of creating multiple bodies in one part create multiple bodies in different parts so to do that one right click on your model choose the new component and i want one box and a cylinder right box and another one is the component i want is a cylinder First, I want to create a box so go to the box and click on the little circle on the right now make a sketch draw a sketch rectangular and to make another cylinder go to the next part choose the cylinder click on the sketch the top plane this plane draw a circle extrude this one now it has created two bodies when you work in a different part then another part will be suppressed to make all the parts visible click on the main body and it will show you all the parts now you can freely move any part furthermore you can also rename your process so to make it work choose the feature right click on it and rename it I want to write as a 
pop thickness and when you hover over the feature it will show you the box thickness now i also want cylinder height as a height gh height of cylinder when you hover over that feature again it will show you the height of cylinder now the next trick is to change your preference settings so here i have already drew one sketch so in order to make it fully constrained i need to give it a some dimension so hit d on the keyboard now i want c900 you can see that it has completely changed the shape of my sketch so here it's 600 i want it 6000 now it is more weird so in order to avoid this one go to the preferences again go to the general tab under the design tab click on the scale entire sketch at the first dimension hit apply ok now when you give a dimension to your sketch it will scale your sketch instead of changing the shape of it 6000 6000 around 7000 this tool really helps to save the time so that was all for today thank you so much for everyone if you have any question type it in the chat box or feel free to ask me It looks like there is no questions if you have any questions later on feel free to contact us on one three double zero six seven two triple eight or you can email us at training at ast.com.au thank you so much